gentlemen and welcome back we do hope you are enjoying this we are going to be going into the water this time and hoping that we can get the mining done without dying horribly as the jellyfish is coming for us stay away from us jellyfish we are not spongebob we are not jellyfishing and we sh should be able to get some oh no we need oxygen yes we managed to get out and get the oxygen we needed now then now would be a very good time to build ourselves up and get out of the water that water is going to uh, drown us if we aren't careful so we got the tin ore that was down there we'll need to go and take care of the ore a little bit in a few minutes. We're going to leave that room there though. We might finish it at some point because that room is going to be a relatively decent marker on where we are. So there is a path somewhere over here. There is something. I was remember last time we could see something was taking damage over here. With that in mind, we will adventure and see what we can find here. As well as just look around for, uh... Ooh, well there's a chamber, but it's got nothing in it. We can hear the creatures, though. The creatures exist. It's just a matter of getting to where they are. We'll find ourselves a lovely creature. Just to see what it'll do. See, the only downside to Terraria is if you're starting your own mineshaft, there's a lot of time like this where you're just digging until you find some chamber. Because it's really the chambers that you're going to want. What is it? That's sand, isn't it? Yep, that's sand. We can't do much with the sand here. That's unfortunate. So we'll just mine up some of the stone still. And we'll come back. We should be able to build ourselves a furnace. And that furnace will allow us to smelt the... Uh, ah, there we go. Get in the jump right. Smelt our ore into bars, into something we can actually use. So let's uh, build ourselves. Ooh. Let's get some rope out of the cobwebs. Useful thing for the rope to be turned into, or for the cobwebs to be turned into, that is. Where is it, where is it, where is it? Can I not craft a furnace yet? Here we go, furnace. We've got ourselves a furnace now. Now we can craft some uh, tin bars. Now then, we should also drop our chest off here and put all manner of things that we may not be needing right now into the chest because right now our main goal is adventuring ooh glow sticks those will come in handy you got some wood we'll hang on to the wood but golly geez it's still dark outside oh did it just turn back tonight Stupid zombies coming out at night. Looks like we're going to continue our tunnel down. Mainly because I don't have a weapon that conveniently makes it easy for me to slay uh, zombie creatures of any sort. So, that being said, we've got some tunnels here. Tunnels tend to be systems that are, are linked together too. So there's never usually just one as you can see, there's always a set of them. And it looks like we've also got some ore of some sort down here. So we'll just be coming in to look at the ore and see what we can do with it. Oh, it looks like it might be iron ore? Do we have iron? Iron ore is going to be extremely important. Iron ore will craft us some very nice items. And we'll want to save up 12 of them for an iron pickaxe. 
The iron pickaxe is one of the uh, more useful things you craft early game. It's much better than a copper pickaxe, to say the least. What kind of uh, things are in here? Looks like it's another form of ore. Looks like tin, though. Yep, it's tin. But we might be able to craft ourselves a tin man if we would like. So, tin man is coming up on the agenda. Let's see what we can do with all the tin. And to begin with, you'll get a lot of stone. You'll end up with just a lot of supplies just spaced throughout it. But having the ropes are nice. Oh, as you can see down here, we're about to enter another cave. This one, slightly different than the last. So we're going to just open this up a little bit. Drop the light. Oh, but it's an empty cave. Empty caves are no fun. We want to see some stuff. We want to get some items. But we will continue to explore this system. My guess is there's something over to our left. So that's where we're going to try and go. It's through the cave system to the left. Over by where the water is and where we've explored already. Because that would just make more sense if there's something over there. But, it's, as you can see, it's hard to see in the dark and I don't have a minus helmet. So, without a minus helmet, I cannot see where I'm going. And it doesn't appear that there is anything hidden over there. So we may as well just continue on down. Continue our descent into the belly of the beast. And we should put our uh, rope continuing on down. The nice thing about the ropes is they're very quick to get back to where you want to go and where you don't. Let's come up here see if it's daylight yet. Hey, it is daylight. We can go out and explore the world. So, we'll just build ourselves a bridge. This is a convenient way to get across giant expanses like this that you cannot otherwise do. It is just building yourself a bridge. We've actually explored much of what's under this particular lake. Oh, that's not very nice of you to come and hit me with. And I should make this just a little lower so I can indeed get through it next time I want to try. So, let's see what's out here in the jungle. Or in the uh, desert, not the jungle. Jungle is another biome you can visit though. We've got ourselves a cave here. With some rope in it. Oh! Didn't mean to fall there. Falling in these places can be the... Oh. No, no, stay away. There's a snake thing. An underground tremor of some sort. And there's something that's lit up over here. Now then, it's very dangerous to work in the desert like this. Because if you hit the... Hello. I don't like the look of those things. Those things look rather villainous. I'd like to be leaving now. We've got some silver, we've got some item. We've got some interesting looking stone here. What is this? Nope, I cannot kill it with my current uh current item set. So, we'll just have to hope we can craft ourselves something useful the next time we want to uh, really, really uh, get some work done. Evil bugs. Always evil bugs. Ok, 
Can I go through this? Yeah, I can go through these sandstone blocks, sir. No problem. We're getting a lot of rope. Rope will be nice. Rope will be useful. Now then. We want to get out of here. Back up. Back up. Stay back. This is going to take a little bit of time. But this guy is messing with the wrong individual. And then we're going to go up and out, hopefully. How much more health do you have? Eight, five, four, three, two, one. Oh, good lord, those guys are a pain. Those guys are a mighty pain. So, it looks like we're going to have to tunnel a little dangerously to get out of this predicament. Or maybe not. We've got hardened sand here. Good lord, that guy moves quickly. We want to keep exploring the surface. But that's hard to do when you've got a... Uh... Yep, now is where it's going to get a little interesting because there's loose sand here. But we can stand here, hit this, and form ourselves a ladder to the surface. Or we would be able to if they give us a two uh, two block limit and now we're out and we're on the surface again and there's a purple slime which I don't really want to deal with because I don't necessarily have a weapon that'll take care of it in short order I want to find some stuff though that would allow me to take care of it in short order. That that that's the goal here. Just find whatever I can to help me out in this predicament of a location. Hmm. Gonna build ourselves another little bridge. That's pretty good. And let's go into the water. It's not a very deep lake, but it's a long lake. It is a long lake. Oh, and look at the waterfall. That, that waterfall is delightful. Here we go. And we are now out of that. Looks like we may be in the jungle. And the slimes are going to follow us. No, stop following us slimes. Hey, we got another treasure chest here. This is exactly what we were hoping to find while we adventured on the overworld. Treasure chests. Useful items of varying values. And we'll just drop a torch in here so we can see it. Let's come over here. We'll knock that down. And we'll take what's in here. We've got some more recall potions. We've got some more health pots. Arrows. We've got some tin bars. We've got some grenades. And we've got some throwing knives. Okay. Those are all going to be good things for us to hang on to. Oh dear. Oh, we've got some ore down here, it looks like. Some tin. We'll just come into the water, take the tin. Jump back up to the surface. Refresh our oxygen. There's mud blocks, there's tin blocks. There's just all manner of blocks here.
And we've got to find our way out of here now. Which is not going to happen that way. Ah, the slimes! There are so many slimes! And a bat. That bat is going to be, uh... Annoying. Because they're so small, they make it hard to, to hit, but they're also very resilient. Hey, we got an iron ore deposit on the surface. This is exactly what we need. Stay back, bat. And the bat is dead. And we got some tin ore here, too. And we got some creeping vines too we're gonna just come down here hey we got a pot well we got a chest actually and a mother load of tin ore and there's another chest this ladies and gentlemen the jungle is where all my chests are located I've just got to kill that uh, creeping vine thing because that thing seems to want to eat my face. So we will be sure to get it in a moment. Gonna just light things up. And we will take the jagged radar. Detects enemies around us. We'll take those grenades. Swiftness potion, health pots, arrows, and some rope. Where's my rope? There's a rope. And now then. Actually, we'll use some of this to get out of this predicament. I'm thinking we'll go over that other chest. But we'll mine our way through and come at it from underneath. So that way we can avoid some of those perils of the overworld. Because that thing can't reach us surely through all this. But you never know. You just never know with these things. Oh, There is a bat. We do not want the bat to get in on us. So we'll just shore up that side and keep moving. Once we'll do this, I think it'll be a good spot to end the episode. But we've got all manner of spectacular things we're finding. One can only hope we find even more... ...awe-inspiring items on this surface. Get me the light. This fellow seems a little grabby. Ooh. A snatcher, huh? Well, you're not gonna snatch me. What does more damage? We'll try the, uh... Well, the axe crit for one. Actually, can I just open this? I'm just... Ooh. I'm just gonna open this. We'll take the other... Well... We'll take the radar with us. We'll just clear out this place of all its lovely treasures. And then... We will, uh... We'll actually show you what the, uh... Recall Potion does. Takes us right back here. Where the zombies are. Which isn't exactly what we want, but is going to be helpful. We will drop ourselves off some chests. Come. Is that a zombie in a hoodie? Looks like a zombie in a hoodie. I don't think it is. Now then. What can we make? Hmm. 
wooden yo-yo. We will make a wooden yo-yo. That's going to be interesting. Oh, and we'll make ourselves a bow and arrow. That's going to be useful as well. Now then. Can we make... We'll make some iron bars. We'll make some tin bars. A lot of tin bars, actually. We'll make ourselves an iron anvil. So now we can actually craft things with it. Do we want a tin helmet? Let's see. Six damage. Seven damage. We could take a tin broadsword. Um, actually, we'll take a tin hammer. Tin hammer. Going on up here. And then we'll probably try for a pickaxe next. And we'll get some more uh, torches because we're running low for our exploring purposes. Now that we've got one of these that we were storing, oh, storing our coins in, storing just some items in. Actually, can we craft something with this? Let's come over here. What can we make with this? Is there anything useful we can make? No. Oh. Tin pickaxe is better. So we will make ourselves a tin pickaxe. Retire the copper one. For now. It's an annoying tin pickaxe. It doesn't do much damage. Oh. It's cursed. It's a cursed pickaxe. We may have to hang on to the other one just because that curse on it is going to be annoying as anything. Actually, let's place ourselves a chandelier. We've got the chandelier up. We can see. Whoop. And now we're going to just want to uh, rid ourselves of any unnecessary blocks. And we'll be on our way again. Won't use those potions right now. We'll put that away. And... Looks like I'm happy with everything else we've got. Well, we'll leave the boreal wood. And we'll leave the grass seed. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, we do hope you're enjoying this. As you can see, we've got all sorts of zombies all over our house, but they aren't getting inside. So, if you enjoyed this, give us a like, comment, subscribe, let us know what you're thinking. And as always, have a good one!